Python is a popular programming language, a very popular one at that, with it being one of the most popular programming languages these days. So Python is a great first language to introduce yourself to in coding, and it, because it's a lot more simple than other programming languages out there. Python is a great skill to have and put on a resume, and it's an easy way. Uh, and well, there's an easy way to have uh, proof of your ability with it, which would be to get a certification. And one of the best ones that, that you can get is the PCEP certification by the Python Institute, which as you've probably already seen is the topic of today's video. So the Python Institute is one of the best places to start learning Python. Who would have guessed? <laughs> and um, I'll provide a link to all of their certifications in the description below. So the roadmap for the certifications that are offered is the PCEP certification which the long form is Python Certified Entry Level Programmer uh, certification, which is shown as bronze. Then afterwards, it teaches you all of the basic skills that you require to get to associate level. And finally, you can get to professional level at gold. So the PCEP Python certification has its own free course that you can take after you make an account with the Python Institute. This is completely free. All you need to do is just sign up with your email and you can uh, start studying. So this course, it specifically teaches you everything that you need to know to prepare for the uh, exam. This includes Python fundamentals, which includes syntax, lexis, and semantics, Python logic and structure, variables, operators, and basic functions. Uh, and then unit two for this uh, covers conditional blocks and loops, which covers if statements, if else statements, else statements, uh, and you get the gist. It also covers uh, while and for loops, how you can use them by nesting them, conditional loops, uh, and how you can break and continue these loops. Third, you have data collection types, which would be your lists, tuples, dictionaries, and how you can uh, manipulate strings, such as splicing, indexing, making multi-line strings, and stuff like that. And then fourth, you have functions, which would be the bread and butter of this whole course. So you're going to be decomposing code using functions, you're going to be organizing functions, exceptions uh, hierarchy, for, and handling exceptions. Uh, so you'll learn a lot more details about this when you're actually doing the course. But for now, that's like a basic overview of what you'll learn. So the exam syllabus and review that I did for the exam took me about two weeks to like get through all those four units, though I did do this during school vacation. So this, uh, so if you do this during the school year, it could take way longer. So that's the exam syllabus. <clears throat> and next up, we have the exam details. The exam has two versions, one that is expiring soon and one that's currently active. but like. There are, of course, no prerequisites to complete this exam since it's entry level, and the certification that you get from this will never expire, which is really important since a lot of certifications require you to take the exam um, every few years to update it, but this one, this is not the case. You have this forever. So um, the exam takes around 40 to 45 minutes depending on which version that you pick, and the minimum score that you require to pass is 70%. There are 30 uh, questions total, which will include single and multiple select questions, drag and drop, gap fill, sort, and code fill. Oh, right, there's also a code insertion. So, of course, the whole exam will be taking place in Python 3. Uh, you can pay $59 to take the base exam, $76 uh, to, for an exam with a retake, $71 for one test and one practice test, and $29 for only a practice test. This is all in uh, USD, by the way. And well, I would just recommend to study well and take the $59 test, which is the probably the best value that you can get. And as long as you study well, you should do well on the exam. So to start the exam, you have to purchase your voucher on the uh, PCEP website. And uh, after you do that, you will be given a code, which you can input into the course, uh, where there should be a section uh, where if you just like search around for a bit, you should find it. You input your code and it will automatically open an application. So this application is where you're going to be taking the exam and, oh sorry, not application, I mean window. Uh, you'll be taking the exam in this window and uh, like this window, it will record whether you leave it or not, but there is no face cam really required. 
and uh, if you leave this window by like alt tabbing or minimizing it or something it will count how long you've been gone and that will be a way for them to check if you've been cheating or not on the exam so uh, for some prep for the exam that I did uh, I used a video by Jonathan Carr which explained a lot of test questions in detail and I really liked it so I'll put it in the like I'll put the link in the description and secondly uh, these questions that I used to study more uh, that I just found online I'll put those in the description as well so those are all the resources that I used to complete the exam and I wish you the best of luck on yours have a great day